Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we're back here with another review, and today we have a review here. We have a software review, this is Pinnacle Studio 22. So one thing you guys should know about me, I think you guys probably know this already, but I am pretty cheap, I don't like buying stuff, I'm just very cheap because besides this YouTube thing, I'm a full-time student, I don't have much extra income, so besides shelter, right, shelter, and food, I don't tend to spend additional money on anything, really, you know, it's, it's kind of sad. So, I actually spent my own money on a program, and especially because I already had an editing, editing program that I use for free, this program here must be really special for somebody like me to actually go out and buy something like this. And it really, really is a special product, guys. So, you know, I've, I've read all the different boards out there. I've read all the different boards, guys. And everybody says, get Camtasia. It's the best for YouTube. And I do agree. Camtasia Studio is definitely the best for YouTube. However, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have $300 to shell out for Cam Camtasia Studio 9. And I was using a pirated copy of P Camtasia 8. And to get the thing to actually crack correctly, it just was a mess. And the program did not do what I needed to do. So I actually invested in a new program. It's much more affordable here. Pinnacle Studio 22 with tax. And I, I, I'm a student, guys. I have a student discount. I spent less than 50 bucks in total. And I'm really happy with what I'm getting here. It really does everything I needed Camtasia to, to do. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't have the most complicated setup. I'm not really using After Effects. I'm not, you know, I'm not making movies here. We're just doing quick little videos here. But I do like how the features work here. So in the import um, option here, you have all these different options. You can take a DVD. You can scan it in here. This is the my computer. This is what I use here. And it, one annoying thing here, it does have to rescan the files every time you use it. It, it. it doesn't open up the file explorer like Camtasia does. So it is kind of annoying here. But let's say I'm guys. I use Bandicam, right? So let's say let's say I want to use Bandicam. I go I go to my name here, and Bandicam should be in documents. Go to documents right. Here here and Bandy Cam is right here. You want to double click and so like you know what I'm saying it really isn't that bad but there is a little bit of a learning curve because there's no Windows Explorer here. I, I got over that pretty quickly you know. You can also capture video. Camtasia has this feature as well and th this is gonna probably yeah, this is gonna refer to the integrated camera. We can switch it but actually we really can't switch it. That's that's interesting. I'm surprised they don't let me switch the camera here. So yeah that that does need to be fixed guys. I Maybe because I'm using this camera right now Potentially, I can't use both at the same time. Hey, I'll check it out later, guys. But, you know, it's not something I'm going to use. You can also scan for assets right here. It's a very similar concept as, as my computer here. But I prefer to use my computer. You have stop motion. You have snapshot. And you have multicam. Multicam is like the basically the competition here to Bandicam. This is their screen capture software that comes in the package with the regular version, which I bought. If you buy the Ultimate, you're going to probably get the full featured experience here but yeah so what's, I'm gonna t even though guys I'm really done making my video I'm gonna just you know move move a file that's not too big you know I'm gonna move a relatively average size file so I'm gonna end make sure you uncheck all before doing this or you're gonna be importing a lot of data and you know that's, it may take you so here I believe this is the the guys if you watched the video yesterday about the uh, action camera this is the raw file I recorded here so I'm gonna start the import here and as you guys can see, import, importing is pretty quick. You know, it's not too bad here. Go into my editing settings, and this is where all the different stuff is going to be that you're going to need to make videos. Sometimes it does spin like that, which is kind of annoying as well. Camtasia, it's, you know, instantaneous. But hey, it's it's a small price to pay considering this is like, this is like 75% cheaper, right? And Camtasia. So, if you, so guys, you, you, as you guys can see here, this is all the raw files I was working on yesterday to make the video here. So I'm just going to drag the video here. You simply, you simply drag it in right here. I'm going to put it on AV track one. So the file here is now inputted, guys. One cool thing is just like Camtasia, you can zoom in and zoom out on your timeline. To me, that's very important because I need to be able to see the entire timeline at once. So you want to hit control, you want to hit the minus button like this, and that will zoom everything out. It took me a while to figure that out, but you know, we did figure it out. And the same thing for plus here. So this this green and yellow bar is about the limit here you can go. And you know, it's pretty cool. One thing I don't like about this program that Camtasia has is in Camtasia, you can, you can clearly see the uh, sound, how your sound looks on a frequency meter here. 
on this thing right here, it, it's very, very small, the frequency meters here, the frequency lines, if you know what I'm talking about. If you ever use Camtasia or Audacity, you know what I'm talking about. But on here, the frequencies are all very condensed, so it's very hard to find points in the video by using just those sound waves on Camtasia because the sound waves were so detailed, right? And I saw, if I saw a really high peak or a very low low, I know that means I probably made a mistake there and I need to make a cut because I know a certain sound wave, I know that means that I probably stopped talking and I probably cut the video. So I know how to cut that out pretty easily. But this is, the sound waves here, to be honest, are kind of slim and it does piss me off a little bit. So, you know, it's okay. It's not a big deal, guys. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the... Uh, this is the uh, timer here. This is the timer here. You can, you can also you can also grab it by here if you want. You can grab it from here, or you can grab it up here, and you can drag it to whatever wherever you want it to go. So one of the most important things when using a video editor is how can you cut content. You're know, making cuts is very important, and luckily it's quite simple. You go right here, guys. This is the split clips split uh, clips button here. Click that. And that should split your content into uh, two here. You just have to make sure they're not selected together and you can easily drag it off like that. So, you know, that, that process is easy enough. Not, not, I'm not complaining about that. And pretend you want to put a new file in here. I'm going to stick it down here for now. I don't know how big the file is. So the file does fit. So I'm going to take this new file here. I'm going to drag it in right there, as you guys can see here. And then you just kind of drag both contents together here. So be careful. You don't want to do that. If you drag it too much, it actually puts it inside the other video so be careful with that uh, it's definitely not as intuitive as camtasia which does suck but hey it still works and it's a lot cheaper so i'm okay with that you know small thing i haven't really used many of the features here because the truth is i just don't need that i really just need a simple program that can cut clips and render them and you know put, put stuff together i don't need much but there are a couple other features here you have the voiceover option here I, I did use this on camtasia from time to time so that feature does work here we'll do a little bit we'll do a quick little sample guys so let me do a quick little sample right now yo so it, it takes a three second timer here so yo what's up this is your boy pebo so i'm coming at you that's good enough and you like to keep the recording yes i would like to keep the recording here it's going to save the file it's going to save and import the file somewhere I presume that it's probably going to be up here. Let me just turn this off. So I turn that feature off here. So let's go back to the video here. And this should be this should be an imported media file at this point. Let's see here. I have actually never used this feature before, so you know, hopefully I'm not uh, doing a bad job here. Sound effects? Is there any sound effects? Guys, give me one moment here. Let me figure out uh, where this file is. As I thought, guys, the, the, the audio file is here. It's down here. It's very thin. Also, this is the original file I made here. So, yeah, and this is the other file here. I'm going to have to really zoom in on this to see this. So, this is the maximum zoom. So, I'm, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> so, here's the voiceover, guys. This is the file. You can easily extend it by doing this. You can't. It won't actually extend the file. You're going to have to copy it. If you want me to copy I can show you how you copy it. If you just do this guy, you should be able to hit copy. And you should be able to paste it a couple of times like this. And eventually you get a file that's large enough to uh, be used. And you know, large enough to actually be seen. See how it's still pretty small? So what I would do in this case, guys, is just for a moment, just to get the thing visible. I, I'm going to take this part right here. And I'm going to push it out mad far, like really far. And obviously it's all red here, which means you can't actually do anything with the file. But the reason I do that is because when you want to zoom out, all of a sudden it's not that complicated to actually put it in with the rest of the video because this is a video here. So all of a sudden this is actually a pretty large file here. So you can easily drag it in. You can put it right here. You can do whatever the heck you want. So I'm going to drag it in right uh, here. So I'm going to zoom in on that now. And we're going to test the voiceover here. I believe I have. I believe it's going to mute the actual original audio here. If not, I can easily silence the original audio here, which I can show you in a sec here. So let's try it out. This is the video from yesterday. Okay. So let's see how this works. So it does seem like this file is not going to be silent. So that's a very simple fix. You go in here, guys. You should be, you should look for your audio settings here. Um, you could detach your audio. That's a one way of doing it. I don't typically do it that way. We could just for time, for time's sake, you, I just detach the audio here, and that's one of these files here. I have to figure out. I believe it's this one right here. So I'm gonna just kind of get rid of it. We're gonna get rid of the audio here. 
So I got rid of the audio guys, and now the only audio left should be this file right here. You can easily combine them together using just the, the, the level down, level up each other. I'll show you that guys in a second, but let's just make sure this works. It does, it does lag sometimes when you hit play, and that also is kind of annoying, to be honest. Come on, come on video. So what's up? This is your See that? As you guys can see here, you just heard that, and now the original audio is gone. But you know, maybe maybe you maybe you you're somebody who wants to have both audios around. Maybe you like that. And we're back here, guys. So unfortunately, the uh, the thing I was looking for is called audio ducking. It's not in the original version. It's only in the ultimate version. But there is kind of a way here to uh, fix it. Not really. It's kind of an in inefficient way. But as you see, guys, I made my. Uh, I went, let me show you guys, I went right here, right? I went to the music editor here, I went to the library, then I moved it to editor here. I went to the channel mixer here, and I made the, uh, I made the decibels, the audio level, so lo so low that it basically drowned out the sound, right? You really, watch this. So you can't, you can't hear anything at this point. And I made this audio file right here, the one up here on top, I made that about zero. So you should only be able to hear this file at this point. So what's up? This is you see that? See how you were able to hear it? The decibels for this one is about is as you guys see here is zero. So if you could kind of you can kind of play around with it and get the perfect balance, and so you could be able to get kind of like an audio ducking feature, but it definitely is more. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of a mess to be honest. I do wish. They do make that change, but at this time, that's going to be an ultimate feature, which does uh, kind of suck here. So, I do want to also show you something pretty cool. So, I was having issues in the past, guys, with my videos doing this. And the reason why this happens is during... Hey, look at this, guys. I, the video would be okay. Then all of a sudden, I would get these little, um, you know, gray. You see this? So, I thought for sure when I saw this, I thought that meant that maybe there was space in between my clips. Potentially, I didn't squeeze them all together. You know, like, let's take a look here back at the content here. Let I thought for sure, you know, if I zoom in here, go right here. See, I thought for sure what happened here is, my, yeah, my bad, I keep messing this up here. Let's go right there. See, I thought for sure what happened here is, let's say I had a file here, and I had a file here. I thought for sure that potentially I did this, like that by mistake, but on a much smaller scale here. Let's move it in here. So I thought for sure I did that. But if you zoom out here, you see how you, can, you can't really tell there's a space there? So that's what I thought happened to me. But that was not the case because when this happens, you just get a blank screen. You don't get uh, this mark right here. So I did some research and some people were saying a couple of different things. And what I found in my case is none of the solutions people were talking about were working. I had to find my own solution here. So in my case, I went to control panel here. If you're having this issue, this should help you. I went to control panel, right? Once I did that, guys, go to, to the export page here. And so there's different types of hardware acceleration. I've heard different uh, things about this. Some people say CUDA is the best. Some people say none is the best. And some people, some people, you know, turn off the feature. But in my case, the Intel uh, hardware acceleration, in my case, actually fixed the issue. So yeah. For me, the Intel thing did work, and I'm really happy to say this is how I fixed the issue here. Um, I guess I'll make this video for you guys. It's kind of a, it's just a, just a collection of random files here. If you want to see me export it, I guess I could show you guys the export process here. I'm not going to actually ex export the content here, but I do want to show you what you would do. And so everything here is now ready to go. I'll put this, put this up here. One moment. I just I just wanted to make sure all the content here is together. So yeah, I didn't mean to do that, but let me let me fix that for you guys. It's gonna put it right there, like that. So at this point, if you want to export, guys, go here, go to your export settings here. And you want to make sure all your different settings are good before you click export because you know there's no reason to waste space here. So if you're doing this on YouTube like me, do 1080p. I do the H.264 AVC codec here. You can change the format, but I think I think this is fine here. So I do about 29.97 frames. Uh, you can call it whatever the hell you want. You can put it whatever the hell you want. Um, I guess, I, uh, you know, whatever. 
doesn't really matter to me. For for pre-processing, I mean, there's, there's there's different ways to do this, guys. Some people say automatic. Some people say render completely. To to be honest, I usually choose render completely. That seems to be the option that works for me. And yeah, I'm gonna render the file, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna do this on camera just because it's gonna take up too much CPU power. But I'm gonna pause the video here. I'll come back once the file is done export, just to prove to you that it works. And just in case you're somebody who's having issues with the export, I want to show you that this works for me. So overall, guys, yeah, I do like this program. It's a feature for me. I did buy this with my own money, so I can definitely tell you in an unbiased opinion that this is something you definitely need. So guys, Amazon link will be down below. Okay, make sure you check it out and. You know, guys, make sure you subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. Put on the notification bell as well. And, yeah, I mean, remember, that subscribe and like and all that great stuff. And also, if you want to check out my website, pboastonline.com, you can buy stuff on there. I have some cool stuff on there. So, yeah, guys, I think that's really all I had to say here. Also, if you do one more thing, if you do want to save space here, as you can see here, this is an 11 gigabyte file. I don't personally do this because I've had issues before, but you can use MPEG-4. And that does significantly reduce the file size. That does, unfortunately, make the uh, rendering time significantly longer because there is compression involved. So if you do want to, you want to do it that way, that's okay. But just be aware it makes the rendering time much longer. And you know, so I'm just gonna finish the export here, and I'll be right back before we officially, you know, sign out of here. So we'll be back in a moment. And we're back here, guys. Let's just quickly finish up the video here. So you have two options of how to view the file. I always go, I always click the uh, file explorer here. Windows Media Player is nothing special here. So I'm just going to confirm that there's no arrows, gray arrows, which means there was an error during rendering. We're just going to make sure here that this works here. So I'm going to take a quick little peek here. One, one cool thing about Windows Media Player, although I don't love it, I do prefer VC Player. You can easily kind of look at everything you have here. See, this, see, this, this is exactly what I was talking about before. If, you, if you're in a situation where there's space in between content, you're not going to get those gray arrows. You're going to get something like this, a black screen, and it should come back here. I'm just making sure there's no gray arrows, which are confirming that there's no errors here. So guys, there's absolutely no errors here. Just, just so I'm not having any confirmation bias, I, I did the exact same method here with the other video here. The exact same method in which I scrubbed really quickly, and you can easily see it. So it does take a couple seconds for Windows Media Player to kind of load. So I will, I will respect that, and you know, I'm going to wait for it to fully load. Start because I want the high speed scrubbing to work correctly, and sometimes it just doesn't work. On some videos, I think it has to do with the size of the file, and this is about a four gigabyte file, so it's going to take a while for Windows uh, Media Player here to actually process it up to speed. You know what I'm saying? So, you guys, give me one second here. Let this thing finish processing. And we're back here, guys. I, I just think the file is too big because I can't. The high speed scrubbing does not work. It's like semi fast. It semi works, but we're gonna slowly go through all the files on slowly go through the video in here. And even at this pace too, you can definitely still see what I'm talking about if you look carefully. Let's see, there should be a, see you see what I'm talking about? See even though I'm not going as fast as you know as fast as possible, you can still see that there's errors here. And on this one here, there was just no errors. So overall, that's my tutorial here of the program. I really do like it, guys. I do suggest you check it out. I will have an Amazon link down below. You know, I just said all this stuff, so I'm gonna end it here. But thank you very much, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. So thank you and bye.